What's going on everybody? This is Rich of Review Tech USA and today is Monday, August the 15th, 2011. And according to Noel Gallagher, video games are to blame for the UK riots. The reason for a city's youth rioting for days are no doubt complex and many. But hey, let's blame video games because that's exactly what rocker Noel Gallagher is doing. Yeah! We live in this age of violence and I don't care what other people say. Brutal TV and brutal video games are a reason for this pointless violence as well. Gallagher are told bang showbiz. The people are immune to violence, they are used to it, and if they get caught, they aren't punished the right way. The prisons are already full, then build new ones. Wow, this guy is a genius. Gallagher was the former singer-songwriter for the UK band Oasis. He's now gone solo. This isn't the first time that Gallagher's pinned video games for a crime. In 2008, he thought that video games could be behind UK knife crimes. Gallagher does like some video games, though. He once said that Guitar Hero was, and I quote, better than two goblins trying to fuck a donkey up the ass with a laser beam. I haven't seen that, but I guess it's cool. So here we go again. Another person that's ignorant to video games and the interactive entertainment industry, as I call it, looking to point blame on it for society's woes. It's been happening since the video game industry started, pretty much. Here's what geniuses like this guy don't realize. There are millions upon millions of people that play violent video games. There are millions upon millions of people that watch television, and virtually all of them don't go out and commit serious crimes. Video games are now an adult form of entertainment. The days of video gaming just being for introverted creepy weirdos died a long time ago. You have married men and women, college kids, adults in general gaming, and most of them are very sound-minded people. I think it's time that we unfortunately live up to the fact that the human species is naturally a very violent species, and stop pointing the finger at various forms of entertainment saying that's the reason why things are happening in the world. If you look at the history of the human race, it isn't much prettier. If anything, it's worse. So what's your take on this? Do you think that video games actually do make people violent? Or do you think that violent people would be violent anyway, even if video games didn't exist? Personally, I choose the latter. I think if a person has violent tendencies, anything could trigger them, whether it be television, video games, or just life in general. So leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for supporting Review Tech USA.